Well, you know the drill by now. I go on F1 2017, I host an open lobby, and more often than not, it's a terrible day. Let's start then with the worst sector, I think, in my Formula 1 career, and that is a bold statement. Going towards Turn 1 in the points, things are going okay, lap 3 out of 3. Thanks very much for that, that's very, very helpful in approaching Turn 1. Really, really helped me out there. So thanks to that Grade A R swipe, I uh, lost 5 positions at Turn 1, but it gets worse because we have a Grade B R swipe here that decides to park on the racing line and just fling me off to the side. At this point, you must be thinking, wow, Scott, you know, that's a really miserable sector. I mean, commentary isn't really needed, and that is insult to injury. How can this sector possibly get any worse, I hear you ask? Like that. On to the next race, then, and... Oh, actually, no. Not onto the next race at all, because the time has stuck on one, and I'm just here watching the cars go round at about 30 miles an hour. Everyone's finished. We're all just waiting. In the end, I had no choice but to exit the lobby. I rebuild the lobby then and move on to Baku, where, holy bejesus, I can't believe I've just missed that massive pileup. Things are actually looking up here. On to Abu Dhabi then, and <laughs> how stupid would that Mercedes have to be to just brake check me now? Oh right, yes, okay, he's done it. So with that, I was out the points, and with this, I had absolutely no chance of getting back in them. I mean, he's jumping all over the place, the alien indicator's there for all to see. Oh god, oh dear, oh and the guy ahead's an alien as well, I'll oh, just play the jingle. Brazil now, and the guy ahead seems to be struggling in these tricky conditions with the rain coming down, and it's me on the back end of a wipeout once again. And again, just for good measure. Sorry? Can someone please explain to me how that was my fault? So I managed to avoid disqualification, but the game didn't let me off that lightly in Brazil. I mean, what's happened there? Monaco was another disaster, but this time it was my own doing, as I completely mess up my braking zone and almost cause a massive crash there into the chicane. So I'm feeling quite bad about that, that was pretty poor driving from me. And uh, it gets even worse actually, as a few corners later I lose control and actually end his Grand Prix there. So uh, I've got two deserved penalties for that. And I actually, you know, that was so bad, I felt, I felt pretty horrendous. So I actually retired. And, uh, and sent him an apology message, because that was unacceptable. That was... I can't... I can't legislate for that. I mean, it, I had to send him an apology. Wait a minute. Only now watching back have I realised that the same guy that I crashed out in Monaco and sent the apology to is the same guy that brake-checked me in Abu Dhabi. I'll withdraw it. I'll withdraw that apology. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. In fact, that the very point of this is that I'm not sorry. That apology is withdrawn. You can shove it where the sun don't shine. <laughs>